G'day guys, it's Matt here. Just been tidying up a few roads on the development block here. Um, as the truck's been running over and it's been squ squishing down little banks that we have on the road, um, just so water doesn't end up, you know, channeling through the road, like channeling all the way down the road and cutting them out. Um, so yeah, we've just been tidying up a few of them, putting a couple extra new ones in just to, yeah, with this rain there for, that's forecast, just to, yeah, help minimize any road damage. Um, so yeah, we do have, probably 80 hectares left to harvest of this um, this section of the development block uh, which yeah hoping we can get it done today we do actually have the other header coming down as well in a bit um, just because where it was working got a bit of rain so yeah can't obviously um, harvest there so it's going to shoot down here try and get um, this section tidied off today and then we can um, yeah cover over the bunker and yeah, move on to the next thing I know, so I've got the other header going here, but got a big storm coming, so probably got 15 minutes. So currently just trying to, yeah, sort out the bunker, get it all ready to pull it over quickly. See how we go. So we just got this little section to go and a tiny little bit over there, but yeah, she's looking pretty stormy, not sure. But yeah, we're back here, got the bunker tarp back off and we're loading, so that's good. very dark out there and I haven't mentioned yet but this is the old man's new ute so well new to us it's fairly well mint condition it's um, about seven year old maybe uh, but yeah it's in um, exceptional condition so should suit him well we're just still got to get a bull bar for it and yeah work out whether we want to keep the canopy on the back or yeah change it to a tray like a steel back tray or what we're gonna do we might keep it like this who knows but anyway He's, he's able to get back moving about again. So that's the main thing. I don't know, Heather's unloading into the truck. The last part of the bunker. And she's sprinkling rain. Oh, no word of a lie. It just started pouring down right as we were moving the auger away. So that hardly ever happens. But we got all this section done. 350 hectares or so just in the nick of time. So, that's a very good result. Well guys, it's been a couple of days since we, uh, yeah, had that rain, which we had to cover the bunker quickly and get that all sorted. Yeah, we have had quite a bit more rain and there is actually more coming very soon, I think. So, um, yeah, we've been out and inspected the crops or what's left out there. Um, we've got sprouts coming out of the chickpeas and the wheat and the linseed is quite discoloured. The wheat that is still at the development block, um, it's probably got the best chance of getting something for it later on. Um, and also it's it's worth the least amount um, compared to what we have on the other main farm here, which is linseed and chickpeas. Um, at this stage, I think we're gonna start trying to move gear back to the main farm here. So I've got all the gears basically down at, at the development block. We're, even though there is wheat still down there to harvest, um, the higher value crops are here on this other place. So 
if we can get all the gear here, at least um, we can make a decision where to go from there. After that, no idea. We're here at the development block. See all the marks here where the headers and everything had to try to get out. Apologies for the wind noise. Um, but yeah, bunker's looking good. And I'm just gotta take the truck back up to the main block. So yeah, it's gonna dry out a bit quicker there, we think, so. Um, yeah, she just still slopped out there. Not fun. Well guys, there is another addition to our harvest fleet. The uh, opportunity came to, yeah, get that one down here fairly quickly. And um, yeah, so I'll explain more about that probably in another video. We're just in a bit of a hurry to get all this gear out of here, so. Back here at the other main farm. I've got to clean out the grain that's all wet and soggy on the tarp here of the red chaser bin. So that's fun. But yes, see how it goes. So, looks like the chickpeas are close enough to be able to go. Got a few augers to move. Um, yeah, and we'll get into it. So guys, this is what desperation looks like. So I got the bait headers going here in the chickpeas. You can see there's water laying all the lot way along there. Um, yeah, it's just not ideal. But it's what we've got to try and do. There's storms out there, so make the most of it. This is new to me. I think everyone's doing it at the minute though. So the plan is, is we'll try and keep the headers to maybe a bit over half full. We don't want them to get too heavy because that, yeah, really makes it difficult in the mud for them. So try and keep them light and as nimble as possible. Yeah, the other thing too, there's been a few comments um, wondering why we run the header tires backwards on the front, uh, the treads backwards. Uh, this is probably a perfect example um, we got so far and then it was just couldn't get any further but we're able to back out um, it's just a lot easier to be able to back out than get too far in there find out you can't reverse then it's harder for the, the chase bin to empty it because then you know this is going to be dealing with mud so yeah it seems to work quite well for us at least anyway um, but yeah that's the reason so, not real cool, but I'm a little, little bog beer. On the edge of a massive storm there I don't think we're actually going to get it I've actually done a intercooler hose on header number one so 
just going to quickly swap that over and hopefully get back into it. We somehow missed all the storms. Oh, we got sprinkled on a little bit, but nothing enough to really stop us. You can see out there, she's, yeah, still raining. So there would have been plenty of people out there that cop that. Um, excuse my dirty face. I was in the back of the header fixing um, the blown uh, intercooler pipe. We brought the Steiger down because we didn't really have a good vehicle to pull out bogged things with. Um, there's nowhere to pull off on the chaser bin, so yeah, it's just a bit limited. But we've got the big Steiger there ready to go uh, if a header or chaser bin gets stuck. So save a bit of time. Really good result here. We finally got pulled up. It's about 11.30 at night. Uh, another shower rain went through, so we've been able to get a lot more off than we thought we would. So it's probably 330, 40, 50 tonne or something like that. Um, and yeah, we missed two storms just. They were right on the edge and uh, somehow they missed us, so we're very thankful for that. Um, but yeah, everything we get now is a bonus. So. We're just winding down, got everything parked in the big dome shed. You might just be able to see the outline. And um, yeah, call it a night, see if we get any more rain. Well guys, the other boys thought they'd just try the chickpeas again. Um, we did have about 12 mil of rain uh, last night. So yeah, we obviously knew it's gonna be quite wet, but they've been able to get a little bit off, but you might be able to see some flashing lights there. So that's where they are. And I am on the other side of a creek that is currently flooding, so I can't get through to there. Um, the only way is probably a 45 minute trip um, on some pretty average roads. So uh, yes, I can't really help them. And it looks like both headers have just gotten stuck, um, which is, I guess, to be expected, but we've got to try. Yeah, guys, um, I don't think we'll get any footage of recovering these two headers because it's going to be too dark and I can't get over there. So um, this will probably be the end of the video. Um, just remember to like the video if you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next one.